What I learned about LiveScribe was because I was taking a qualitative research class through MSU as working towards my doctorate program, and the professor there brought in LiveScribe as a means of recording data so that you could use it to track and analyze your qualitative data. The project that I did was visiting with the teachers at my, of my school at the time about how they felt the efficacy of Indian Education for All was in terms of um, creating a sense of connection and identity for the kids and a sense of belonging at the school and if they felt like it was effective in doing anything in terms of raising achievement for these kids. So my piece was interviewing a handful, I want to say if I remember right, about six teachers and sitting down and going through them with a, a list of interview questions. And the way the LiveScribe works is as I was jotting down notes, which were basically keywords in my notebook, and instead of having to do a word for word, you don't have to do that with the LiveScribe. You write down keywords, and then at the same time, you're audio recording what that person is saying. And the way the notebook works is if you touch on different parts of the notebook at the bottom of the notebook page, it will start your recording, end your recording, you can adjust your volume. If you touch on a particular word that you took down as a note, it will automatically take you to that point in the audio and play back what the person was saying at that point in the interview. Plus, whatever notes you take, you can um, connect wirelessly to your computer and it will put them on your computer as if it were a notebook page, you know, as if you've been keeping notes in a college class or something. I do know there's also another one that's another form of the live scribe and it has a different name, but it's um, created specifically for people with dyslexia. And as they write it in their own words, it will actually auto-correct the words for them and spell them correctly. So when a person is writing and they're getting their, you know, words, letters backwards or whatever, it auto-corrects for them. Just to be able to have that um, right there was, it's made it so much easier. It allows you to be far more interactive with the person that you're talking to mm -hmm. and it allows you to pay more attention to the detail of what your purpose is for that interaction as opposed to getting bogged down in the graphic. I'm sure there are, are much there are a lot of other components that go with that but in terms of me uh, having to go back and go through the audio over and over and over again in order to do an analysis so that I could pick out common themes and be able to design my paper into um, an organized format to get different perspectives about different issues. Um, it, it was perfect because you had, you literally had everything that was said at your fingertips.